All right, people, this is another quick episode of a simple experiment. Basically, what we're going to do in this section here is build a 10 foot fence with the actual gate. I'm um, going to pretty much be breaking it down step by step. Um, when you build a fence, pretty much use what you have. With me, I have the traditional post hole digger. Um, about five, 10 minutes at the most. Nice workout, actually, get the job done. One thing you want to do with the 4x4x8 four by four by is make sure that you dig the actual depth two feet so when your actual post stick out the ground is only six feet so it can be the similar height to the actual picket itself once you do that you pretty much um, get a bag of uh, concrete they actually tell you that 40 pounds is suitable I normally just get the 50 pound bag you know just to be sure and anything extra I could probably use it for a later job uh, but basically you just apply water at the bottom start adding the concrete get a long stick or something so you can actually poke in the actual concrete itself to release any air bubbles so the actual water and concrete can mix and let it sit with me I build the concrete all the way up and then I also pack dirt around it to make sure I get it good compressed and like this one right here has probably been set for like I don't know five minutes and it's already like unmovable <laughs> so I will be breaking it down step by step stay tuned all right so after you actually dig the post you need to do what's called the cross beams which are these here one two three you see some homes they only do two I prefer three makes a stronger gate last longer you know it's all about that lasting impressions you know because every customer that you work on is a future reference to another customer there are people who really hang around them they're gonna ask hey who did that or that's a that was a nice job you know who did you go to to get that done make sure you always make a lasting impression now what we doing now is facing it which is basically lining the planks up and then going all the way across that section that's open is where we're going to actually make the gate I will do another version of that video once we're done uh, my buddy Tay just made some more cross pieces that we're going to place right here to go from the stud to the wall so yet again we can face it all the way through to give it that nice closed gap it's always really simple with these as long as you make the dog ears match up it pretty much lines up and I be giving you a third video soon <laughs> all right so this will be the third video I have one more after here which is the finished process I mean the finished product I'm sorry uh, as you see we pretty much putting the rest of the fence pickets up and also with me when I build a fence you know I keep it traditional uh, solid points all the way through now very important when you actually hang when you build your gate me I'm a landscaper um, 48 inches is normally the opening that everyone would like to actually prefer so with that I actually made the opening roughly about 49 49 and a half inches wide so I can make sure I have a good clear opening reason being because when you put the hedges and the hinges I'm sorry you want to have roughly about a uh, about a no more than a half no more than a half inch quarter inch gap and as you see it's all the way through reason being when we put the fin picket fences all the way uh, all the way across to the actual point it'd be one nice swing see so it actually be good enough where the latch catches and then you have to worry about the actual gate itself sagging or causing any problems. Sorry about the camera. <laughs> but in a minute, it will pretty much give y'all the finished product. All right, people, this is the aftermath. I know, right? Nice, clean flows right all the way across open hatch gate make sure we made it good nice and sturdy <laughs> sorry for going too fast with the camera ha <laughs> A simple experiment make a handyman jobs look simple <laughs> catch y'all later